Hi there. So today I am going to be trying in another attempt at a little bloom on this little 10 by 10. Now obviously I'm in the UK, uh, paint pour is massive in America, Australia, well all over the world. But for a bloom our recipe has to be slightly different because we really struggle to get the Aussie Flow Troll. Um, this little bottle cost me about 30 quid. It is tiny. But it's the bomb, so I'm made up with it. So when you do a bloom, typically you put something down called a pillow, which is just white silk house paint. Uh, I've had some mixed up in here for a while and I've got a suspicion it's got lumps in it now, but I'm gonna use it because it's just in there. So that's white silk house paint and it's mixed with a tiny bit of GAC 800 to prevent the paint splitting and I put a tiny bit of water in it as well just to thin it down um, so there we go so that's for my pillow from a pouring medium in the UK this is called Valspar Wooden Metal Blend V700 interior gloss and it's base C and that's really important. You can only get it from B&Q at the mix, mixing desk and sometimes they try and talk you into buying different things but that, that's the one you want. So Valspar Wooden Metal V700 base C. So that's what I'm going to use for my colours <clears throat> and then for my cell activator I'm going to use this uh, with I'm going to do a, a gold cell activator today because it's and it's that's deco art 24k gold so my colors I'm going to use Amsterdam black these are from a company called specialist crafts which apparently they are a pretty much identical to Amsterdam don't know how true that is, but I'm, not, I'm going to give it a go today. So I'm using Carmine Red. Azo, or Azo Orange, however you pronounce that. And this is Pebio Jean Primaire Yellow. So we'll give it a go, see what happens. I'll start mixing. You might get bored, you can fast forward. <laughs> Uh, let's start with this. I don't know if it's got a... No, it hasn't. So, I'll pour this in first. You only need, for a bloom, you only need a little bit of your colour. And I'm probably going to spin it out as well. If I feel like it. I need another one of those cups. Oh, there it is. I'm never very organised when I'm doing this kind of thing, so you'll have to bear with me. The room where I paint is a tip at the minute, because I tend to do my painting. It's not at my home, it's luckily I've been gifted a room. Um, but I've got to vacate it in two weeks, which I'm a bit heartbroken about. But now that actually looks a bit pink to me. That's very strange. I need a bit more. I'm going to move that end. Because I want that red, I want it to be like a, like a fiery kind of picture. And that's actually a bit too thick now. So I'm going to add some more. You kind of want these all to be the same consistency. That'll do. Most likely this video will go off on me because it always does. <clears throat> oh. Oh, that is stuck. Not too much black because oh, black takes over, doesn't it? I'm 
show you something else I've recently done. These are two pictures that I did with this recipe. That's really nice. It's shimmery. And this one. And they've got resin on them. Really pretty. Right, carry on. Ooh. Right, so I've got that. a nice colour. Really nice. I'm not really a fan of orange to be fair. Right, okay, so there's my colours. Not too sure what order I'm going to do them in yet. And then I'm going to use my precious, precious, ooh, if I can get the lid off, Aussie float trial. I'm literally going to use a little drop because it crucifies me. I might need a bit more than that. Make sure it's nice and golden. So, I only started doing art in lockdown last year. Um, I'm into all sorts at the minute. I, I, may, I do like working with resin a lot. Um, I'm very, very lucky that I've just had a picture of mine put up in a local gallery. And it sold within a week, so I'm absolutely chuffed about that. <clears throat> right, maybe let's give it a go. So I'm going to use my paddling, dog paddling pool. And you can see that. Just eliminates any mess because I am a messy painter. Right, I've got my cocktail sticks because I'm definitely suspicious that this white has got lumps in it. So I'm just going to pour it on and we'll see what happens. I'll soon, yeah, it's really thick. It sh I should have put water in it, but hey ho. Never mind. We live and learn, don't we? See, big gloop there. I can see it. And a little bit on the corners, just there. Because I hate it when you don't get corners. Mm, there we go. I can see a bit of big blob there. And that is where 
really I should have mixed some more up as soon as I spin it out you'll see it anyway there's an air bubble there I'll just pop that they will pop up you can torch it but you've got to be careful with house paint because you might burn it you're better off giving it a quick torch at the end and now I'm getting all bits in it which I'm not happy about there we go right let's let's go let's go let's go what should we go first you've got to think about when you blow it or spin it what colour is going to come out first underneath the gold so I think I'm going to go I'm going to go with the red I think we'll go with the red oh, there we go didn't really get that in the middle did I Sometimes I put too much paint on, but that is it, you know. You can only learn, can't you, by your mistakes. This is how I see things. You definitely learn from your mistakes. bit of black on. Don't want too much black because it will overpower everything. There we go, that'll do. I think I'm going to go with a little bit more red on top. There we go, right. My favourite part. Let's put this lovely cell activated mixture on. Not too much. And then we blow. I don't know whether to blow it with my hairdryer this one, because usually I do it with my mouth. You know what? I'm gonna use my hairdryer. It's an experiment, isn't it? It's not plugged in. Totally unorganised, it's not plugged in. Many cells popping up. Bit disappointed, but still looks quite pretty. I think I should have used Amsterdam gold. Mm. 
Ja, to mam nic. I love this bit. Hmm. I know what I'm gonna do. Uh, I don't know whether to put black in that. Oh, what do I do? I might ruin it, might not, but I want some cells, I'm going to do it. Bugger it! I'll just use this. I like I say, it's an experiment, isn't it? That's a really pretty colour. It's like an oil slick. Do you know what? I'm just gonna give it a bloody bit. spin. See what happens. What do you think? little things popping up. Let's get rid of that blob. Oh, I've just seen another blob somewhere there. Attempt. 
think I can live with it. What do we reckon? That colour in the middle is weird, but I know that when that dries and I put resin on it, it'll shimmer. Really shimmer. Keep doing the sides. Just wish you could get the sides all the time, first time. I don't know what you reckon. Let's see how it dries. How many of you? I think I've only got about two subscribers. So if you want to subscribe, you'll see what it looks like when I've resined it. That would be much appreciated. Well, I think I'm going to leave it at that. I'll give it one last torch. Not really like that corner there with no paint on. It looks like a flower. I'm guessing they call it a bloom for a reason. Sorry, that was my mum phoning me. I'll give her a call back now. Well, there you go. What do you reckon? Thanks for watching.